Hello there, I'm Richard Bullcroft and this is Letters and Numbers coming to you now in 3D. That is to say, it has both 3s and Ds. <laughs> no special glasses needed though to see these two cinematic wonders, Lily Serna and David Astor. <laughs> and playing along with them this evening is our carryover champion, magazine imaging specialist, Paul Breen. Welcome back, Paul. Thank you, Richard. Now, the work that you do for, for magazines involves this sort of digital image manipulation. Can you explain a little more about what you do? Yeah, well, we get images and it's my job to make sure that once they get in the magazine they look okay, so I might tweak the colours or, or change or remove backgrounds, um, things like that. Um, it's amazing and wonderful now how you can change images digitally, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, it, it's, it's also a lot of fun. This, the kind of software that I use is also the kind of software that I'll play around with at home as well. Excellent. Well, we'll certainly have some fun tonight. Welcome back. Thank you. And Paul's challenger is retired IT project manager, Barry Cook. Hello, Barry. Hello, Richard. Now, IT, I mean, we're just talking about technology with Paul there now. Hasn't computer technology changed a lot since you became part of the game? You know, having been involved in IT since about 1961, uh, there has been a huge change in that time. In fact, uh, all uh, everybody's laptop or... Um, uh, desktop is much more powerful than the original machines that I started to work on. Uh, in fact, you were involved with something called a drum computer at one time. What, what was that? Well, rather than having um, memory which was core-based, it actually had a revolving drum. And uh, the instructions to the machine were actually loaded through cards and stored on the drum. Mm. And as the drum rotated, it exposed the instructions to the machine to, ex to have it execute uh, the program that you'd given it. So one of those just wouldn't fit in your mobile phone, let's uh, face it. One of them would be lucky to fit in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Barry. Thank you. All the best tonight to our two contestants, Paul Breen and Barry Cook. <laughs> let's start the week with... The letters game. 30 seconds, all you have to make the longest word possible from the selected letters using each one only once. And uh, Paul, carry over champion, do the honours please. Thank you, Richard. Hi, Lily. Hi, Paul. I'll start with a consonant. Sure. Let's start with S. And another. B. And another. H. And another. M. And we'll go a vowel. O. And a vowel. I. A vowel. U. A vowel. A. And I'll finish with a consonant. And last letter, R. First clock of the week. of a Monday night. How many? Oh, I found that a difficult mix. I got a four. A four for you, Barry? Um, a six, Richard. Hold that for a moment, Paul. Let's go with that four. Mush. Mush. Mush indeed. Barry, what was yours? Ambush. Ambush. Well, I think that's what it was, David. Yeah, you've been ambushed, Paul. A great start, Barry. And sometimes the brain can be mush, just the uh, first game. Although my brain's a little bit like that drum computer, Barry. I'm just continually revolving letters instead of cards around. And I found a seven there, Richard, with rhombus, which is those uh, equilateral parallelograms, I think with oblique angles, as I, far as I understand it. I'm sure they have oblique angles. Sounds right. Well done, David. But a uh, good start from Barry on this Monday night. Six points. Next letters and uh, your first chance to choose, Barry. Could I have uh, a vowel, please? Sure. Let's start with E. And another vowel. O. And a consonant, please. T. And another consonant. N. And another consonant, please. K. And a vowel. A. And a vowel, please. E. And a consonant, please. R. And I'll finish with a consonant, please, really. And last letter, L. I'll start the clock.
first ambush, Barry. How many letters this time? Uh, a seven, Richard. Seven for you, Paul? A six. Let's start there, please. Tanker. And yours, Barry? Eternal. Eternal. That also sounds good, David. Very impressive, Barry. A great start. Um, it was a wonderful ambush, and now that's an enduring uh, seven for Eternal, and the best that I could find as well. Good stuff. So, well done to Barry, powering along at the start of this Monday night. Seven points. Well, Paul's chance now to spin things around with the numbers game, and uh, what would your first combo for the night be, Paul? I think my first combo for the night will be a family mix. Thanks, Paul. That's two large and four small. And the first numbers of the week. Eight, three, five, ten, and the two large, 25 and 75. The target to reach is 539. Thank you, Lily. 30 seconds to get there. Close were you with the first one? I got within one, 538. 538, that is good going. What about you, Barry? I'm um, four away with 535. You're a little bit further away. OK, Paul, show us what you did. OK. 75 minus 25 to get 50. 75 minus 25 is 50. Add three to that to get 53. Add three is 53. Multiply that by 10. By the 10 is 530. And add eight to get 538. And the eight is 538. So, very nice going, Paul. You're only one away. How did you go with this first one for the week, Lily? Well, reasonably well for a Monday, anyway. Um, now, 75 plus 25 plus 10 is 110. Um, 110 by the five is 550. And um, if you take away the eight and take away the three is 539. That was lovely. You kind of seemed like you were working it through as you were going there. Yeah. I think maybe the parachute hadn't fully opened. A little bit, yeah. But it did. And a great effort too from Paul, seven points. So he is now on the scoreboard. Barry's on 13 and we are heading for our first break for tonight. And your first word mix and it is table ice. And your clue, no sex please, we're British. See you after the break.